it going guys, it is Golazio here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode tutorial. Guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about contract roles. So this is a squad role that you actually give to a player when you're negotiating a contract. So this will stand for uh, players that you're actually signing from another club negotiating contracts as well and also youth players as well which you promote to your senior team so what i'm actually going to do for you today guys is break down each particular role and what each player is expecting if you give them that role and also the type of players that fall within that role as well so i'm going to explain all that for you today this is all based on a ranking system on how it really works other than prospect so a lot of the times in fifa in your squad hub there's a ranking system from 1 to 24, wherever it may be. And then it really takes into consideration of that. And also it depends on a lot of variety of things such as their age, their current rating, their potential, that type of thing as well. So prospect. This particular role is really only a few games a season that this particular player wants to feature in, but also wants to feature quite dominantly in pre-season. So take that consideration if you're starting your second season and you've got a few players within this contract role. So make sure you take that consideration when you are in pre-season. Even if you do Simmer, they want to feature. But these particular players only really fall under one category. It's your youth squad that you are promoting to your senior team. So anyone really under the age of 18, 19 that you have promoted and they have that prospect role and they have that high potential, they're only going to be wanting to feature a few games a season. Okay, let's move on to sporadic, guys. This is particular one features youth players and old players, right? So let's leave old players for a moment and take consideration the youth element of it. So there's a lot of different things that you need to take in consideration when putting a player in this particular squad role. So with this particular squad role with a youth player, you need to take in consideration their current potential, which they have, their current value, and also their current rating and also their age. So there's four key elements. So the age, kind of anyone under the age of 19, which has come from the youth squad, you take incineration. If they actually have a really high potential, that's, I'm talking 85 plus, that'll be the role that they actually want there. And also the value. So you get a lot of youth players which are only valued at around 60 grand. If you have a few youth players which are valued at around 100 plus, that's the players that you're gonna be throwing into this, or even rotation, depending on their value. Um, and also their current rating. So if they are around that 50 to 60 mark, you don't really have to bother putting it on them. But if they're around 60 to 70, this is where you want to be putting sporadic on there. And they want to be featuring every so often in those cup games. So take that in consideration. So let's move on to the older players that were featuring this. These older players are not players that you sign into your side. It's more of players which are already in your squad. So there's a lot of players which are essentially dropping down the rankings that I've just mentioned, and they're not playing as often anymore. So for example, if they are over the age of like 33, 32, something down those lines, you'll be able to negotiate a contract with this particular role. Like their rating's going down, their rankings going down, and their age is going up. So be able to negotiate a contract to actually get them down to that so they can only feature in that particular squad role so take that in consideration guys for those particular players let's move on to the next one which is rotation so this particular squad role has quite a lot of variety of players which will feature in it because it's kind of the middle ground for a lot of players so you can have a lot of youth prospects coming up there and you've got a lot of older players coming down as well so it's kind of that middle ground so we we're going to explain all that for you now today guys but the actual role means to players is that they are going to be expecting to feature every four to five games or come on as occasional sub every two to three games. So a little idea for you guys in old FIFAs, a sub wouldn't really count towards this after the 25 minute mark left in the game. But now you can actually bring a player on the 90th and it will count towards it. So take that in consideration. If you've got two subs remaining, throw them on just so they'd be like, you know what, I'm going to chat them on so they don't get sad. And it, even if you're winning a game, take that in consideration. Okay, guys, let's take in consideration the players which will actually feature in the squad rotation role. As I just mentioned, it's kind of a meeting point for youth players and older players. It's going to the older players at the moment. So these are the players that are kind of dropping off. You start to sign a lot more players, their rankings going down. So these players, they're probably going to be around 29 to 33 years old, which will fall within this category. And their rating is going to be around, they're going to be ranked around 15, something like that within your squad. So they're not going to be the highest rated player. They're not going to be the lowest. They're kind of right in that middle ground. So take that in consideration if they are in that middle ground. So this particular player, he's only 31 years old 
and his rating is around 64 and my highest squad rating is 73 so you know he's kind of in that middle ground let's put him in a rotation that's the best way to put it the particular old players you're signing with this i've never really signed an older player which has dropped into a rotation position it's more of the players that you already have in your squad so anyone who's dropping down this is kind of the next stage they drop down again to the rotation when they're originally an important player in your first season for example so when you have a go try signing an older player in that rotation squad it probably will work but i've never really experienced that okay let's take into consideration the youth prospect of it so this is the second one of the set of players really that fall into this so when you are signing youth players and they are falling just below halfway in your rankings so if you've got a 24 man squad and they fall in around 12th or 13th this is where they're going to fall into it. If they are 21 years old and they got high potential, they're going to fall within this squad role very, very easily because they, they're they not good enough for important because they get outranked because they're going to fall within around the 13th, 14th position rank if you've got a 30-man squad. But if we take Manchester United, for example, if you had like a 75-rated player or 73, he will fall straight into this role because he's going to be outranked and he's going to be around that 13, 14 position. So that's how we'll work in the rotation side of things. Also this as well, just a little consideration as well. This falls for lower rated players as well. They kind of that in between the 25, 26, but they just low rated. Okay, let's move on into important guys. So this particular player is going to want to feature every other game or actually come on as a sub every other game. So it kind of counts as a full game for them. But these particular players, um, they are a middle rating player compared to the rest of the team. So they are going to fall into kind of that top 10. That's the best way to put it. They're going to fall into that top 10 mark. And also the players which are hidden gems, which you're signing. So if you are signing a hidden gem player, which is 19 years old, 71, 72 rated, and they're in the Blackburn Rover squad, they're going to want that important role. That's how I see it. Or they're just a generally good player but they're not the best, that's where important it's going to be, right? So they kind of fall top 10 for your hidden gem players, top six for your players that you're signing, but they're not the best. That's kind of the best way to put it. So I never really put anyone on critical. I only ever really give them an important squad role unless they're the highest rated player in my side. Okay, let's move on to critical guys. So this is, they want to feature every single game while fit if i'm honest i never really put many players on critical if i'm truthfully honest with you just because it's over expectation unless i'm actually trying to sign an absolute wieldy of a player or even if it's my goalkeeper which starts every single game and doesn't get rested that's the only time i put it on critical but these particular players are your star players they're kind of really obvious if i'm honest if they are um, higher than the rest of your team or feature within our top three ranking, you're going to be wanting to give them this critical role. If you know you want this player to start week in, week out, you'll probably end up getting on that critical role. But it does depend on their age. If they are 30 years plus, they, they won't want to play every single game. So take that in consideration while giving a critical out. If you are signing a 30 plus year old player and he is highest rated, he might only want an important role. So take that in consideration as well. But anyway, guys, I do want to say thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more, make sure you do subscribe because I'm going to be helping you guys with all these type of tutorials at the start of FIFA 19 to give you that head start straight away. So make sure you do subscribe for more. But of course, if you know anyone that needs a hand with this squad roles to help them understand it, share it with them because hopefully this will help you as well. But anyway, guys, my name is Golanzi. I want to say thanks for watching. And I got a feature video today, which is hidden gem players that you need to assign in FIFA 19 Cremo. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. guys make sure you do hit that subscribe button of course the notification bell so you do not miss a single video of mine and while you're down there make sure you hit that like button and share with your friends but guys i got two videos lined up for you 
I've got one which is a previous episode in this series, so make sure you do check that out. And of course, I got a random video of the day, which I thought, you know what, you guys might actually quite enjoy this. So check that out, share with your friends, and of course, drop the like. But I got some exclusive stuff going up on my social media accounts uh, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All at this is Golasio, so make sure you go follow me up on those. The links are in the description below. But anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. Make sure you do subscribe for plenty more content. And my name is Golasio, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.